Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House. Over the past couple of years, we've had a lot of rain that has washed out our road pretty bad. Well, my neighbor came up with his excavator and smoothed things out and improved our ditch situation over here on this side of the road. But we still have quite a little river that comes down the road. Some of it goes in the ditch, some of it goes on the road, and uh, we'll just continue to wash this thing out. So what I've done is gone to my local gas station that sells used guardrail and I'm going to be sinking this into the road. It's got a M shape where the middle piece can act kind of as a trough and it will capture the water as it rolls down the road into that trough and send it to the ditch. I'm going to get one of them installed in this video and I'm going to have a couple more down the road just to make sure that we capture all the water and don't have that erosion problem again. So let's get started digging into my gravel here and getting this installed. This thing is 13 foot long and super heavy. I'm going to drag it to where I want it and then I'll see what kind of angle I need to capture all the water and send it that way. I'm thinking about there is where I want it. So it has, if I step back, you can see it's got quite a slope in this direction. So any water that hits it from up here will go in and move off towards the ditch. Should be pretty good. So that will stop all the water that's coming down from this portion of the road, which is a good bit. And then I will come back later when I buy another one of these and move down maybe to about where this tree is here and put another one. And that will capture the water that comes off this hill, hits the road, and normally would go that way. It will just shove it off into the ditch again. So, let's begin the digging process. Two hours later. I think I'm gonna have to grab the pickaxe. Well, as it turns out, digging into this gravel is a lot of work. <laughs> if I had thought about it, I would have asked my neighbor to uh, scratch off a little trench here before he left. But anyway, um, got about two inches dug down there. Let's put on some gloves and see if this thing is going to fit in here. Or if I have to dig it out a little bit more. Probably will come back and put more gravel around this, but for now, I think that's going to sit pretty good in there. It packs down enough that it won't be buckling back up when a, a car runs over it. And that's what it looks like right now. Gonna be a little interesting having to mow around that, I guess. Um, may have to just bring the blade up a bit, but it seems to be in there pretty good. Now, I think I should have had it a little bit lower than it is. I don't know if I can get a good representation of that, but it's got maybe an inch and a half or so above the grade of the road. Uh, so I'm kind of anticipating the water will hit that rock and wash things out towards the ditch. So. I may still have to come back and ask my neighbor if he will dig down some for me. Uh, I just don't want to cut into that road too much because it's a lot of work. But anyway, 
seems to be locked down pretty good we'll see how well cars handle it one car has already been over it and it did just fine but uh anyway let me uh, wait for some rain and we'll see what happens it rained last night for about 12 hours and it has slacked off enough this morning that i would come down here and see how this road trough is doing uh, so water is still running down here and it's just cutting in right there at the gravel I placed. So I don't think any rain actually got up to that trough, which would make sense. What I probably need to do is get my neighbor to come up here, scratch this out a bit, and I can sink it all the way down to the um, road level. And then probably even bring some gravel in here to, uh, to fix some of this. But uh, yeah, so for now, all that rain just came up here hit the side and washed back into the ditch there. Um, so at least that's better than it just washing out all the way down the road like it was doing. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I will update you later whenever I install the other um, guardrails into the road and whenever my neighbor has the time to uh, use his excavator to put these in more proper. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.